hello everyone welcome back guys in this video we will talk about try with resource in java so we will talk about how exactly try with resource works what is the purpose or the benefit of using try with resource and we will also talk about the enhancement that was done as part of java 9 okay so that being said let's begin the video okay guys so try with resource can automatically close the resource like java input stream or as a dbc connection once you are done with the resource so resource has to be both declared and initialized inside the try so this is the must have thing is if you see here in the try itself only we have declared and initialized the file output stream object so guys this is basically the syntax of try with the resource so you have to declare and initialize the resource within the try itself a resource can be anything it could be a file connection network file input stream output stream buffer reader it can be anything even you can have your own custom resource so for that your java class should implement the auto closable interface so yes when the execution leaves the try with resource block any resource open within the try with resource block is automatically closed regardless of whether any exceptions are thrown either from inside the try with resource block or when attempting to close the resources okay so guys important point that try with resource block it automatically closes the resources second point that a resource has to be both declared and initialized inside the try itself all right guys now guys this try with resource block was introduced in java 7 right we can have our own custom resource by implementing auto closable interface in java 7 there was a limitation basically the limitation was that you have to declare and initialize the resource in the try itself so to avoid this particular limitation there was an enhancement done in java 9 so in java 9 we can create an object outside of try block and then we can use the reference all right so guys we'll talk about everything in in the demo section let me start the id let me give you some examples to make you familiar with the try with resource block in java all right guys here we are i am going to create a new java class and i'll call it demo okay guys so in this demo we'll read a file so i'm going to create a new variable here i'm calling it as a file name and this file is pointing to a file which is there on my desktop okay guys let's see how to read a file okay so basically read file and i'll pass the file name okay create method okay, so let me make it big for a second so that you guys can see the code here okay guys so i need a file reader first of all file reader let's call it file reader i need buffer reader so buffered reader br and then one string line okay so now i can have a try block so here obviously i will use my file file reader equals to new file reader i'm getting the object of file reader class i'll pass the file name here okay and then now i'm going to create the object of buffer.br equals to new buffer reader i'll pass the object of file reader okay now i'm going to put a condition here while so line is the string where i'm going to read the data br dot read line while this read line is not equals to null okay so null sys out print the line print the text here okay this is the try block i'm gonna have a catch block here now we have got two resources file reader and buffer reader so i have to make sure that once i'm done with the processing once i'm done with the file reading it's my responsibility to close the resources okay so for exception a dot print is text test and in finally block i'm going to close the resources right so i'll put a check here if file reader is not equals to null or say my buffer reader is not equals to null i have to close the resource right so file reader dot close and same goes with buffer reader dot close what it says okay initialize initialize with null and surround with try catch okay so guys if you see here let me run this program first and then let's see the output okay so i just add a sys out here sys out read a file without try with resource block okay so let me just run as a java application so guys here i can see the content of of the file so guys if you look at this particular uh, function here the sole purpose of finally block is to close the resources i'm closing file reader i'm closing buffer reader right so the sole purpose of 
finally block is to close the resources so to overcome this particular challenge right in java 7 we have got something called try with resource try with resource block was introduced in java 7 and the sole purpose is to to automatically close the resources to automatically close the resources i'm going to create a function try with resource in java 7 and i'll pass the file name here okay so let's go and provide the implementation now guys as i mentioned how this try with resource works is that you have to you have to declare and initialize the resource in the try itself okay so i'm gonna have our buffer reader here buffer reader br equals to new buffer reader so i'm creating the object of buffer reader class right here in the try okay and new file reader i'll pass the file name here okay what it says let's go and check it says okay add catch block all good and now i'm going to read the content by using the the object of buffer reader br dot read line is not equals to null i'll do one thing let me put this line into one okay and then this out to print the content of line okay it says that there is no okay so here i'll just add a this out here this out try with resource in java 7 okay let me run okay so try with resource in java 7 i can see the file content guys so the point is try with resource right you can see that with with try block we just have got the try and then curly braces with try with resource you will have this, this bracket here right and inside the bracket you are going to declare and initialize the object declare and initialize the resource okay so this is what the, the try with resource block is and now if you look at it here i'm not using finally block to close the resources this try with resource block will automatically take care of closing off all the resources now guys i can have multiple resources can we have multiple resources in try try with resource okay so let me make it very quick i'm just going to copy everything from here so i don't want to have this file reader here i'll just create the, the object of file reader as well in try okay so file reader let's call it file reader equals to new file reader and i'll pass the the file name now guys to declare multiple resources we have to go and use of the semicolon right and then here i'm going to use buffer reader br equals to new and here i'll just pass the object of file file reader okay so guys to declare multiple resources and try with the resources we have to use a semicolon okay now here also i can just sys out multiple resources in try with resource block and i can run this code then a java application and here you can see multiple resources in try with resource we have got the file content right so guys the point is when we use try with resource there is no need to make use of the finally block to close the resources try with resource block will take care of closing all the resources used in the try cool all right guys now we'll talk about an enhancement so there was an enhancement done in java 9 okay so try with resource in java 9 i'll just pass the file name okay so i'm going to explain like what exactly the enhancement was done in java 9 let me just go and provide the implementation i'm going to copy everything from here as it is okay so this is try with resources in java 9 we'll talk about the enhancement guys when try with resource block was introduced in java 7 the requirement was that we have to declare and initialize the object within the try itself right just to avoid this particular situation to avoid this particular problem in java 9 there was one enhancement done where we can create the object outside of the try block outside of the try okay and then i can provide the reference to that resource so basically i'm creating the resource outside of the try and i'm using the reference of that resource in the try okay what it says okay head throw and here i'll just surround with try catch so guys in java 9 or higher versions we can declare and initialize an object outside of the try and then we can use the reference right now let me just go and run this code run a java application you see try with the resource in java 9 and i can see the file content okay so guys this was all about try with the resources in java all right guys thank you for watching